I'ma make it to the top spot, see, call it coming in, not cocky You cannot break me, this world's mine for the taking Got a niche, man, I'm making, oh I'll keep my head down and grind and be patient I'll take a stab at the top of the sailing They can all try, but you cannot contain it Cause I see the things that I want and I'm taking my goal Push myself to the brink, no limit Do what it takes to be free, committed I'm a little obsessed with things, I'll admit it But that's what it takes to get a freedom ticket Good morning, everybody You see that 312 box back here? We're a little above the seat line Time to get the subs on top because I didn't countersink them. Probably be even worse, but I thought about countersinking. I just didn't feel like cutting another raffle board. But anyway, guys, I'm in the parking lot of the gym. I don't even know why. I'm pretty wore out. They say going to the gym make you feel better, but for two hours after you leave, you want a nap, honestly. But is it worth it? Hell, I don't know, guys. I for real, I don't. I mean, I did have somebody tell me in my one of my other videos that I wasn't going to lose any weight weightlifting. Do I need to be on the treadmill? But you burn more calories lifting weights. And if you stay in a calorie deficit, you'll drop fat. I mean, I've done this before. And then I got fat again. <laughs> Man, them sodas, which I ain't had a soda in like a month. Nope, 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 nope. I have had a soda. But it was a Pepsi Zero. One of you guys recommended that over the uh, Coke Zero, and it does taste better. So, as far as what I got going on, I'm going to work. It's Thursday. Figure I'd do a midweek, just quick video. Um, we're liking the little Nissan Rogue. I know a lot of you guys said the transmission, that thing's terrible. <clears throat> and with a quick Google search, the transmission, that thing's terrible. But, Luckily, it's low mileage. The people that had it, like, serviced it all the time. Like, like on point. You know, they were on schedule with service. So, hopefully, if we don't, you know, from what I read, the transmissions go out by people, like, just flooring it from a dead stop. So, we're going to try to get Deb not to drive like uh, Jeff Gordon. And it, sh it, it should last a while. But... I sold the old enclosure out of here, that single 15 one. And then I sold the enclosure out of the edge. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to have to build an enclosure for the Rogue. Which the one out of the edge would have probably fit it. It's just I'm tired of messing with MDF. And it was heavy. I mean, God, it, it weighed like three times as much as this enclosure. That thing was just a beast. So, I ain't got a whole lot going on this weekend. If it don't rain, I'm going to try my best to run uh, new power wire and everything through here and map out where I'm going to put everything because there's not a lot of room behind this enclosure. So where am I going to mount the C-Max? That's one problem I have. Where am I going to mount the amps? That's another problem. I'm really going to have to map everything out in here. Uh, man, it's tough. It is, it's, it's gonna be tough. This is gonna be a fun little build though. I'm really anxious to get this thing done because I want it to hair trick. Is it gonna hair trick? I don't know. I spent a whole lot of time uh, measuring and designing the enclosure. So if I fail and it don't hair trick, that's all on me. If it does hair trick, that's all on me. But I did put a whole lot of uh, design time into this enclosure and like i said we're at like we're over 10 cubes total and i've had comments like that's way too much for 312s the port in there eats up so much of the enclosure volume like guys when you tune like 40 hertz you got to port this long 30 hertz ports is long <laughs> but when you get down in the 20s the port's like a mile long so you know, you got to take the length, the height, the depth of the port and everything. And you got to calculate that and subtract that from like your gross airspace. Then you got to like subtract woofer volume, bracing volume. And what I have left should be perfect for the 312s. Uh, it's tuned low. We're tuned at like 27-ish. So... 
I'm hoping that'll get at the hair trick. I don't know though, guys. It's, it's gonna be tough. So anyway, that, that's all I got going on, you know. Sewed some enclosures. I gotta dig everything out for this, uh, for like <coughs> all of my wiring, RCAs, base knob. I gotta dig out everything. I gotta get a new base knob. I need one that's all black. I should get the one laying back here. It, it's green. My daughter liked green. But I can't have a green base knob in a murdered out Jeep. I just, no. No, 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 no. I got a new head unit I got to put in here. So, what's weird is this Pioneer is like one step below the POS 80. It's got every feature the POS 80 has, except for it doesn't come with the uh, RTA microphone to self-tune. Other than that, it's a good head unit. But, since I unhooked amplifier and I'm just running them rear speakers off of the end dash, it no longer gives me hands free. Like when I call, the phone connects with it, but there's no sound, no microphone. <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't even understand that one. <laughs> it's like, why? <laughs> why, God, why? So now I can't hands free call and I've gotten so spoiled doing that. I hate holding the phone up here and trying to drive. It, it sucks. But anyway, that's all I really got going on today. Quick little simple video before I go to work. I'm dreading going to work. But yeah, for uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, every time I would get in this Jeep, it smelled like urethane. <laughs> Remember, the poor man's epoxy. The box looks pretty cool back here, though. I can't wait to get subs in it, guys. I really, I can't. I can't wait to hear this thing. And I still have to build doors for this. Oh, my God. I forgot all about that. So, yeah, there's going to be a little simple door build video coming up, apparently. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about that one. But we're going to have to do it. And like an idiot, I really... I shouldn't have put the front door panels on. Because I have a set of old door panels that I could have used for uh, the mock-up. You know, to do the tape with and everything and fiberglass. So, yeah, I really screwed up there. But two six and a halves, two tweeters, each door. That's what I'm, I'm going to do in here. Um, three twelves, two five Ks. I don't even know what I'm going to put on mids and highs yet. I have a couple of different options. 45 amp hour C-Max that ain't built yet. It don't matter. I got the one out of the edge that I could throw in here and then have Billy build the other one. I got everything to build it. Have Billy knock that out or help me knock it out and uh, put it in the Rogue when we build the system for the Rogue. I don't know. I never know what's going on. It looks like my headliner. And I put the headliner in this thing like three years ago. Because the headliner was in it was falling. I got the die to fix this. And miraculously, sun visors. <laughs> I have to like, I got material left over from the headliner that I need to wrap a set of sun visors with. Because all the sun visors I have are still tan. So yeah, that's going to suck. I mean, I've done it before. It just, it ain't fun. But other than that, guys, that's really all I have going on. I mean, nothing special, honestly. I don't even know if I'm going to upload this video. It seems kind of shitty now. But I ain't been able to do the cool videos like I usually do because three to four days a week, I go to the gym now and it's eating up like all of my free time I used to film videos in the morning with. I mean, I know it's no excuse. I should be better at getting on top of this. I should be leaving like 30 minutes earlier to go to the gym than what I actually do so I can make a video for you guys. It, it just, it, it ain't working. I'm getting pretty lazy. Like the older I get, the lazier I get and the less fucks that I give. <laughs> but what can I do? I don't know. This video is kind of sucky, ain't it, guys? <laughs> When am I going to put a system in the Rogue? I don't know. Here's, like, honestly, what I want to do is finish this Jeep here. 
and I've been behind the scenes ordering all new front end parts for Jangalang. I'm going to lift the front of Jangalang like three more inches. Just because it seems like it sits a little low in the front like this one. So I got to lift it like three more inches. Uh, so I've ordered new springs, uh, all new tie rods, and I've upgraded it from your typical like wimpy XJ steering, which uh, the steering on that thing is still stock. But I've upgraded it to like solid steel bar versus small hollow tube uh, front end steering. A drop Pittman arm, because I never put one on it. It's got bump steer like crazy. Uh, I need to get a new steering box and I want to get an upgraded power steering pump for it off of like a uh, WJ. So I've been ordering stuff like slowly but surely to put on there. I got a transmission cooler to put on it because that thing's got like 400,000 miles. I did put a new motor in it, but transmission is working great. I have changed the fluid in it before and it's still working great. I don't know if it's ever been rebuilt before I got it. I mean, that thing was like right at 300,000 when I got it. So I don't know, but a transmission cooler will help it. So when I get done with this, I need to work on that. I need to put a new roof skin on Jenga Lang. Um, and then I need to build an enclosure and run all the wiring and everything through the Rogue. I need to order an upgraded alternator for the Rogue. Thanks to you guys and my buddy Brandon Shockley, everybody's confirm, confirmed that I can take that car up to like 15.8 on charging with no issues, you know, the whole electrical in it to handle it. So that is my plan, um, but I do need a new alternator to do it. I, I don't even want to try to play with the stock alternator on that car. So that's what I got going on. Um, yeah, this is a shitty video. I'm sorry, guys. At least I'm keeping in touch with you through the week. You know, even EXO dropped a video out sooner than than normal. I feel like I'm slacking. He gets he gets a lot more views than me, so he can do like a video every two weeks. I need to do two to three videos a week just to make a little bit of money off of YouTube, which is all going back in the damn projects. It's like I'm losing money doing YouTube. I'm spending more money to make the videos than I'm getting back. I, I would have upgraded this shit anyway, so it all pans out for me, guys. But anyway, I hope y'all have a great day and a great weekend. Uh, I'm going to go to work and try to make a little bit of money today. So I'll see y'all next time, guys. Peace out, and as always, base on. Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go